Omar que estamos contentos por este acontecimiento y que te queremos mucho y que estés muy feliz con el lobby y te deseamos toda la felicidad del mundo y estamos muy orgullosos de ti. Sí, porque llegaste a, un, a, un, a una decisión que, que es muy importante para tu vida, esperamos que seas muy feliz. Y quien entrega la mano de esta mujer en el matrimonio con este hombre que los junta hoy. Sipron and Salma, today you come here as individuals, but you will leave here as husband and wife, blending your lives, expanding family ties, and embarking upon the grandest adventures of human interaction. For the story of your lives together is still ahead of you, and it is yours to write together. But marriage is also founded upon sincerity and understanding, which will lead you to tolerance, confidence, and trust. It involves respect for each other's feelings, your weaknesses, and your faults. And you believe that those qualities which have attracted you both to each other can now be best developed during this life that is spent together. For a happy marriage will enable you both to establish a home with much love and stability, where your family and friends will always be welcomed, and which will be a base from which the influence of your shared and we hope strength and life today may always extend. And every day that you live together, learn how to receive your love with as much understanding as you can give it. Find things within yourselves and you can share them with each other. Do not fear this love you have for one another. Have an open heart and a sincere mind. Be interested in each other's happiness. Be constant and be consistent with your love. From this will come security and strength. For all that we love deeply will become a part of us on this day of your marriage. So today you come here to commit yourselves fully and freely with each other. Now the Bible has also given us what may be one of the world's best definitions of what it truly means to love. And I'd just like to share with you both a very well-known passage from 1 Corinthians 13. And just offer it as a model for the new life you are creating here today. For we must remember that love is patient and kind. It is never jealous. For love is never boastful or conceited, it is never rude or selfish, it does not take offense, and it is not resentful. For love will take no pleasure in other people's faults, but it will delight in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, always ready to endure whatever life's challenges come your way. Because true love, it never comes to an end. For love is the reason why this day was chosen by you both to begin this life together. Love is the reason why you both will give with all the hearts for the good of each other. Love is the reason that together today you become one. One in hope, one in believing in this life, and one in sharing the many coming years together. So before you are joined in marriage, I am now to also remind you of the solemn and the enduring nature of this relationship which you are now about to enter. So now I ask you, Shepron, will you take Salma? to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward, to have and to hold, forsaking all others for better and for worse, for richer and poor, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish her for so long as you both shall live? I do. And you, Salma, take Shepron, to be your lawfully wedded husband from this day forward, to have and to hold, forsaking all others for better and for worse, for richer and poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish him for so long as you both shall live. Amen. Perfect. So now I ask that God bless these rings that you will exchange as symbols of your love and fidelity. May these rings be blessed as symbols of your affectionate union, for your two lives are now joined in one unbroken circle. And wherever these rings go, may they always return to one another in their togetherness. May you two find in each other the love for which all men and women yearn. May you grow in understanding and in compassion. And may the home which you come to establish together 
May many of us there always find a friend. May these rings be symbols of the love that you have for each other in your hearts. Sir Brunt, will you take her ring? Salma, let's extend that pinky for him. In placing this ring on Salma's finger, please repeat after me. Salma, with this ring. Go ahead. Salma, with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. With all that I have. I will honor you. I will honor you. Perfect. Salma. Left hand, sir. In placing this ring on Shapran's finger, please repeat after me. Shapran, with this ring. Shapran, with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Perfect. In acknowledgment of this holy purpose, the power of this grand occasion, let us now bless this union in marriage. Let us bow our heads for prayer, you too. Dear Father in heaven, as we come before your throne with our offering of this love, we ask you to bless this union of marriage. For today we present to you Shepron and Salma who come this day to be married. May the promises of love they make be blessed with true devotion and spiritual commitment. For we ask that you, God, give them the abilities to keep the promises they have made. When selfishness shows itself, grant them generosity. When mistrust is a temptation, give moral strength. When there is misunderstanding, give patience and gentleness their connection deserves. And if suffering becomes a part of their lives, give them the strongest faith and abiding love. For we pray that you will be the third strand that will bind them together, can never be broken. May you be the guiding light that shines on this chosen path of their lifelong commitment to each other and you. Amen. Amen, you too. Salman Shipran, today you had vowed to love, remain steadfast and loyal to one another as you stand here before your friends and family. You have formalized and sanctified this bond by the exchanging of vows and rings. May the love that you share be eternal. May it be undying. And as you both begin this married life together, hold close to you the words which you have spoken to each other here today. For life isn't always the easiest road as we all come to know. So rely on your faith in the promises you have made here today to help you through those times. Ask God to grant you both the gifts of caring and understanding in your lives together, allowing that each of you may be to the other a source of strength and need, a counselor in times of uncertainty, a comfort in times of sorrow, and a companion in all of your joys and your victories together. You have now consented together in marriage before our company. You have pledged your faith and declared your unity, and you are now joined in mutual esteem and devotion. For what God hath you joined together, let no man set asunder. So now, by the authority vested in me, by the great state of Texas, I do now pronounce you to be husband, and wife, you may kiss your bride, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to be the first to present to you Mr. and Miss Shepron and Salma Dulovi.